Yo, what up? It's your boy U Berserk, aka Shogun U Berserk, and I thought, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Why not? Why not go over insurgency, sandstorms, loadouts, and pretty much the basics that you need to know, especially if you're getting into it on the console. Before we start this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now let's get into it. <laughs> We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. And we're going to keep it short and simple because I know that's how you guys like it. So, I mean, I know that some of you guys already know some of these classes. Some classes actually don't have too much to them besides guns. Um, we got factions, insurgents, and security. Um, basically, ever since the first insurgency, um, there's been two sides. It's like, you know, terrorist, counter terrorist type thing, like CSGO. Uh, riflemen. Uh, you take a look at the rifleman class general purpose is to use assault rifles and battle rifles in combat take a look here just like it says battle rifles and assault rifles in combat you can put a bunch of attachments on it um, keep in mind that some of these guns you are able to put a uh, smoke launcher on it and that is very helpful in combat so you can get like you know the smoke launcher and then you can also carry some smokes it definitely will allow your team to advance. You got bipods. There's a whole bunch of things that you can attach to your guns to, you know, suit your play style and suit whatever is going on in the battlefield. There are some basic things that apply to every class. You know, you get your set, uh, your standard sidearm. I can actually see this guy. Man, we can, uh, it's high noon. Um, but uh, you got some basic sidearms. You can put some attachments on these two. Um, you can't really put too much on this one though, but you can put boom, laser sight, you know, extended mag, you know, it ranges. I don't think they have automatic pistols. Maybe that's something that they'll add in the future. I'm not too sure. However, take a look here and uh, you have two slots, three slot slots actually for explosives. And this varies upon if you have a uh, ammo carrier, right? So let me watch this. I take this off, boom, I can only hold one. I put an ammo carrier on, I'm able to carry one more explosive right here. If I take it off, boom, put three, I'm able to carry three explosives in this slot. We got light armor. Uh, light armor allows it it's just light right now it doesn't show it right up here but there is a uh when you get into the game there's a, a weight bar and basically the more weight that you have it is going to slow you down so keep that in mind when you're choosing light or heavy i think heavy would suit more of the demolitionist but again it's your play style you play exactly however you want to i would recommend everybody put a gas mask on just because of the fact that when you're getting into uh, intense situations and uh, a commander on either side calls in chemical mortars. I mean, this gas mask is pretty much gonna save your life and allow you guys to advance through the chemical smoke. Also, you have a melee weapon. And again, that's the same for pretty much every class breacher close quarter battle specialist who uses shotguns smgs or sbrs take a look at some of these guns man shotguns they they had a bunch more uh guns but i think they took some of them off um i usually stick with an mp5 and you know kit this bad boy up there's also the honey badger and the mp7 keep in mind too again this applies for all the classes right uh the size of your caliber is going to allow your bullets to pretty much penetrate uh stuff like wood metal and other types of and even i think there's a sniper rifle and a marksman i think it has like the highest caliber i think that can even actually penetrate through concrete so i mean you gotta watch your back Thank you. 
advisor uh trained in local uh trained <laughs> trainer of local forces who uses exotic weapons so this got a little bit more exoticness to them the mk uh 17 mod good gun um boom again keep in mind the calibers right this mk17 <laughs> it is ripping through stuff right also the same with this uh tavern actually have not used this gun but i may try this gun out but again you got one times two times four times and it basically varies on the the gun that you're using there's nothing really special about these classes up here right now they just have different guns demolitionist is where it kind of gets a little interesting this guy has some explosives he's got some rocket launchers he is equipped with assault rifles uh battle rifles but yes he has some pretty unique and different explosives he has the m19 mine he's got your basic throwables to the smoke flash incendiary frag grenade oh actually hey let me go back and let me let me just say this right when you're using the breacher you, you, you want to i mean your job is to go in and clear stuff so you may want to pack with the flash grenade um that is a, is a really good uh throwable to have with the breacher at least just one maybe um c4 this guy also carries c4 you know obviously that'll i got my keys and stuff set differently but that's gonna mess people up too marksman is just a marksman but let me see that that super caliber bullet i was telling you about it is this one right here boy this is ripping through everything this is ripping through everything right here but they really have some very powerful rifles i've been hitting one of these drops you like one shot bro you're done <laughs> you are done so if you have you can't tell people run into some mouse and keyboards you better pray that they got some terrible aim um because yeah one shot is shredding <laughs> gunner a heavy weapon handler who uses large deployable machine guns this one is a little different too this guy has the big toys when i say the big toys he got the drums on them he got the the ones that's gonna rip through the buildings right here this right here firing at a a, a, a fat is, is dropping you in like probably one shot comes with the bipod i don't think you need to put a bipod on the other one it doesn't have it but this one i think is automatically just sets up and then you can hold down a bunch of angles and stuff like that really really rain some terror on people i don't play with this class that much because i gotta get better with the recoil especially now but listen fear this gun fear this class <laughs> they also are equipped with m19 mines i think that's about it for this class again this is just for your heavies this is for pinning down areas it uh you know it's 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 dangerous it's deadly especially if you get hit with one of those things through a wall through concrete through wood it, it's going straight through uh here is one of the most important classes right here an observer right here they got battle rifles they have assault rifles right here um very crazy guns you again you can equip some smoke launchers on some of these guns not like this gun because this is more of like a uh what is this um i don't know semi-automatic rifle kind of um again basic sidearms regular frags it doesn't have any heavy um vehicle disabling type of things it's incendiary smoke and just a regular frag grenade i like you need that too much for this class anyway because this class is supposed to more so stick with the commander and the commander's supposed to keep like he's supposed to be in the shits like he's supposed to be fighting but but so much in it in it like not really because he needs to stay alive to call the shots right observer is his right hand man he carries the hq radio and with this he'll be able to call in things like the airstrike chemical you know it depends on which class that you're playing as um but there's a lot of things you can call in mortars drone strikes for the insurgents um helicopter support for security there's a lot of things that you can call in um but you need this class right here the observer to be right next to the commander so he can call that in we need 
And then we got the commander class. And like I said, these two need to work hand in hand to get the job done, right? The commander is the team leader who can call in fire support with binoculars when near an observer class. Take a look at these, man. Again, battle rifles. It is, again, standard uh, assault rifle, battle rifles. Um, nothing too different about them, even down to the sidearms. Everything is the same. The same throwables. Um, the thing that sets this guy aside or, you know, differently is he has binoculars. When you whip these bad boys out, you can basically call in where you want your uh, fire support, helicopter support, chemical mortars launch, smoke loaders mortars launch to give you guys some cover in advance in the battlefield. I mean, you can really get tactical with this. And then at the end of the day, it kind of feels like you're playing like chess with the other observer on the other team if they have one. Man. And it, it gets it gets really fun it gets really interesting like, okay so just imagine this right enemy team is trying to advance they drop in the smoke mortars and you say not today bitch and then you drop the chemical mortars right on top of their smoke mortar so they think they got a chance to run through it and then they get hit right with the chemical mortars as soon as they like it, it, it gets deep it gets crazy and it's only going to work though if you have a good coordinated team so i really suggest that you play this with your homies but then again you do run across some really good uh observers and people who actually care and you know it uh it's lovely to be honest be sure to set your presets for your loadouts make sure you are aware of the points down here and your weight because that is going to drastically affect you in the battlefield how fast you move and uh that's pretty much it that is the guide to the uh the loadouts there's so many classes there's so many ways that you can play the game people have already been mixing it up being crazy um and you, and you love to see it you really love to see it it's your boy you berserk appreciate you guys stopping into the video appreciate you guys checking out some of the other videos hey be sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel this is a mixed channel bag and i am glad that you guys are enjoying the insurgency content but we got more content coming down the pipeline if there's anything else you want to see covered anything else you want to know be sure to let me know in the comment section below i will catch you guys the next time we upload peace